Welcome back to Let's Do It Together. Today we're doing a very basic recipe. This is for vegetable stock. We're gonna be using this for a ton of recipes coming up. So at home, make this recipe, put it in a jar, just like I did here. Keep it in your fridge and also put some in your freezer. So that way whenever you have a recipe that calls for vegetable stock, you have some that you made from scratch fresh, ready to go. So for this recipe, I'm just using the vegetables that I have left over, the things I have on hand. So the first thing we're going to do is saute the carrot and onion and some hot olive oil. We're just trying to get a little bit of color on there. What we're going to do next is add our celery. This is our base. This is it. This is the base. Everything else is just a flavoring. So we'll add some water enough to cover it up. I have a corn cob, a few handfuls of garlic, and some cilantro, but you could also use parsley. Really, you can use whatever vegetables that you have on hand. We'll bring it to a boil, then we're going to let it simmer for about 45 minutes, and your stock is done. It's very, very, very easy. Just drain out the solids, withhold the liquid, uh, let it cool, and then put it in a jar or put it in the fridge, in the freezer. Really, you can keep it any way you want. It'll last about a week in the fridge or a month in the freezer. And there we have it, our own homemade fresh vegetable stock that you can use in pretty much any recipe calling for stock of any kind. You can mix it up, use different vegetables. This is what I had, this is what I could find, so that's what I made. But you can put parsley in it instead of cilantro. You could put different root vegetables. You could put shallots, pretty much whatever you got. What's really great about this is if you ever have any leftover vegetables after, say, you go grocery shopping and starting to go bad, just make a quick stock with it and you're good to go. Subscribe.